Good evening, good evening, my friends. Hello, hello. <coughs> oh, guys. Today was a rough day. I nearly choked to death. I'm not even joking, man. It was it was close. <laughs> All right, let's get this autofocus garbage out of here. Hate that it changes every freaking frick time, man. Green screen. Green screen's no good. Well, let's fix that. Uh, yeah, how do we? Uh, let's fix that. All right, let's press this button right. Woo! We fixed it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Hopefully, it's good enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dancing around, pointing monkeys in the. <gasps> Here's your feet, man. Oh, you a little ticklish over there, buddy. You a little ticklish. Uh, oh, no, Chris. No, don't give him a no enema. Oh! Oh! Completely fits it up your butt. Oh my God! How deep can we go? Oh, that's a rough way to start the stream. Bad way to start the stream. We don't want it. We don't want to do that. Oh my goodness! Why did we do that? Why did we do that, guys? That was all you. I, I, you guys talked me into it. That's all I'm gonna say. Who's yo? Thank you, man. Love the meerkat. Love it. It's awesome, dude. Meerkats are one of the best animals of all time. They're so cute. They're so cute. All right, today we're gonna start with the freaking bang, man. I'm feeling a little better today. Not perfect though. Uh, we're gonna go. I did a practice run and I sucked. I got. I was like, oh my god, we can totally. Totally. Yo, mama. Oh, who's yo? That's who he is. Oh, love it, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. A little uncomfortable. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be uncomfortable. Everybody's got to get got to get used to it. So, like I said, I'm feeling a little better today. But not, oh, my God. Did I crash? Oh, no, no. It just froze. Okay. No worries. No worries. We're good. Um, Venturin race. This is going to be exciting. Flight of the Pendant. You guys like it? Look at this. Oh, look at all these pigeons. Look at them all go. Boop, 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 boop. Never come back. This is my wall. You come back, I will kill you, pigeons. I want them to know this, okay? Um. All right. So, uh, what do you guys think we should start off with, man? Now, I, uh, I, as you guys probably know, you guys may have seen a couple of videos of of it, or if you looked it up, you could probably find something on YouTube that's pretty good. I like to create my own. You know, I never like to look things up. It's less fun for me. So we're going to try and create our own fun little strategy for us. Um, my first thought was always wizards. You know, you got you to go wizards. You got to go boop, boop, get a wizard there. Maybe get a wizard over here. You know, somewhere near the front over there or something like that. And then we're going to go for a Benjamin, all right? So we can get that extra cash money. Let's do it. Guided magic. Why guided magic, man? I'm totally going intense magic. We need that camera detection, too. All right, and then an ice tower. That sounds good to me. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. 28 rounds already. Let's get that camera detection. We can go a little further, man. These, pff, these wizards are owning over here. Love it. Dude. Love it. Let's go refreeze, dude. Let's refreeze these puppies. Let's refreeze the mo... Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, you know what? Let's get that uh, Let's get that sub going up in here. I'm feeling it, man. <gasps> pigeons! Get out of here, pigeons! Get off my wall! <gasps> oh, crap. No, no! We don't have enough pop power. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, plutonium reactor! No! No, no, no. Guys, what happened? 27? 27, what happened? Who's Joe? Or woe's Joe? Woe's Joe. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, man. That's that's really nice to hear, man. It's, it's good to see you. Thank you. Guided towards the balloons. We don't really care if they're guided towards the balloons. We just kind of like throw them down. Oh, we got to get the Benjamin skin on here. Okay, all right. Let's get let's get DJ Ben. I think all my heroes got like uh, automatically put back on their base skin. So we're gonna just change all these to my favorite skins really quick. Oh, this is normal. Okay, that one's good. Mm, oh yeah, you gotta go with that guy. Oh, no skin. Okay. Oh, Hentai Churchill gotta go for him. Benjamin, DJ it up, and then I don't know. Easily can go either way, and that's no man path. There's nothing wrong. No man path. I mean, he just makes me happy to have him around. Let's race it up, boys. How much monkey money are we gonna waste today, man? I gotta beat this, and I gotta do a decent job. I'm going for top 10%. That's my goal. If we get top 25%, I'll be decently happy. If we get anything less than that, I'm gonna feel sad about my life. Very sad about my life. I'm gonna keep going until we get at least top 25. Okay. You can't spell. Well, that's okay, man. No worries. No worries. We can't be experts at everything, and you're obviously an expert at being awesome, okay? 
I will be the expert of sucking at races today. Pigeons, get off my wall. Get off my wall, pigeons. My wall. Maybe if you win when there's no pigeons on there, you get a hidden achievement or something like that. Wouldn't that be cool? I would love it. All right, we're going to try a DJ Ben again. Uh, we're going to try to do an Ice Tower start here. I, I kind of like the Ice Tower. But we're on level 20, which is kind of weird because there's a lot of white balloons coming out. So we're going to try to throw down... <coughs> we're going to throw down a wizard right here. We'll get the intense magic. We're going to go for another wizard. I'm going to throw him a little bit further back over here, though. We're going to try, like, uh, back here. Because I think if I get a sub going, I think it'll end up working out pretty well. We want to go pretty reasonably fast there, though. You know, like, chicka chicka boom boom. Get this stuff flowing. 30. We're going to get the second wall of fire going. But bam Get intense magic across the board. Maybe even get a monkey sense here. We're pushing it pretty hard right now. But that's the way I like it, boys. That's the way I like it. Real hard like Uh, 32 already. We're going camo balloons. We're going heavy on these guys. We're starting to get to the point where we're... Oh, the purple balloons are getting in the way right now. That is a big problem for us. Purple balloons is what is going to kill us. The purple balloons. Boys. Boys. Boys, purple balloons. Did you guys see that garbage? All right, so we realized what's going on right now. Purple balloons are hitting my walls of fire. Bloop, deleting them. That's no good. So what we need to do is I think I got a strategy. I think I'm going to try something goofy. I'm going to try a sub strategy. Instead of a ring of fire, or instead of a wall of fire strategy. We're going to go for a balloon. To oh, we can afford it. But we can't get a Benjamin right away. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Let's let's try it out. Let's see what we can do here. Just kind of push it to the limit. Let's get a Benjamin right away. Kablamo. Go up, up, up. There he is. He's in. And then, uh, with any extra money here, we're going to get another Wall of Fire Wizard behind these things so the purple balloons don't end up getting in the way. And this is going perfectly, my friends. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going really well. We're going to go triple wall. Oh, crap. I sent it to Moab, though. So we got to get something for the Moab. We're going to go for a Ninja Heli. Elk combo, see if we can pull it off in time here. We're going to go for one of these guys and get this burser, these quad darts going. And we're going to send another wave here. We're going to use our bursty, bursty, busty burst. And it's not going to be enough for us. I got the razor rotors, but it's going to be too little too late. Crap. Didn't mean to send out round 40, guys. That was my fault. That was my fault. All right. All right. All right. Ninjas, you guys want, want me to try the ninja strat? Okay. I know what to do. I, well... To be honest, that was a strategy that I thought about that I didn't know if it was actually going to work or not. Just a, a straight-up alchemized ninja strategy. That might be the way to go. Um, but I kind of want to go one more one more round and see if we can... Oh, no. I did Benjamin, though. Uh-oh. All right. Well, we could try the Wall of Fire Wizards in the back, though. Pate, back again, man. Thank you. Quick question. What's your favorite planet from Interstellar, excluding Earth? Man, you love Interstellar, don't you, dude? You love it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, to be honest, I don't remember. Can I can I can I be straight with you, man? I, I do not remember at all. Uh, my favorite planet from Interstellar? No, I don't. I've only watched it once. I'm usually a one-time movie watcher kind of guy. That's usually how I roll, man. So here we go. We're going pretty hard right now. We're gonna have to get the second ball fire. There's no way we could do it. I wish I had a better answer for you. Maybe I'll look it up after I'm done racing here, but for now, this is the way it is. So we're going to take it a little bit slow, you know? Uh, let's just try to get a tw top 25 run, at least to get us kind of started up in here. Hopefully, purple purple balloons, purple balloons, purple balloons. Cool. So you can't just go walls of fire, man. You just can't do it. I got to get the sub start right from the get-go. I got it. I got to do it. I don't care what happens, man. I'm doing it. We're going hard here. I'm going to go... 32 rounds right from the get-go, dude. Crazy talk. This is crazy talk right here. 32 rounds. Don't tell me this is possible. 32 rounds. We just pulled it off, boys. We're still alive with 32 rounds in. Let's go hard. Let's go big. Another one of those guys. Let's get an ice tower over here. Let's go boom, boom. Deep freeze, large radius. 37, 38, 39. Now we can prepare for our Moab. All right, let's do this guy. Let's do this guy. Let's go for a quick elk. And uh, let's see if we can get our... our uh, uh, let's send it out. We're going to get a Berserker Brew. We're going to control this guy and follow Mouse here. I'm going to see if we can just attack the Moab here nonstop. That's my job. Attack the Moab. Um, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, the Moab is killing me. The Moab's killing me, guys. 
This is a good strategy, though. I love this strategy. Uh, uh, Wall of Fire does have a Pierce Cap, but usually it does not get hit. Hmm. All right. Downdraft, hell yeah. I mean, it's expensive, though. Like, realistically, we just got to find a way that we can pop that mob. I think... Maybe I'll try... Maybe I'll try doing, like, a really weird ice freeze on some of those ceramics, guys. That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to... I'm going. I'm still going ham. I am. I'm going ham, boys. All right. We went 32 rounds last time. Let's do it again. 32 whopping rounds. We can get a Benjamin right away. We can still pop down our wizard here. Actually, why not go 33, man? Why are we only going 32? We could probably go even higher, to be honest. Here's another wall of fire. Boom, sha frickin' zoom, dude. Get that intense magic over here. 36, 37, 38, and 39. Right from the frickin' get-go, dude. Two wall of fires again, looking beautiful. And then straight into a full ninja play, I think. We're gonna go Bloom Jitsu. We're gonna alchemize him and uh, bring him home. Bloom Jitsu. Here we go, round 40, guys. We gotta alchemize him. But we can set out more rounds, I think. We get extra money from setting out more rounds. So we're going to try to get that stronger stim going. I got to rely on this guy, though. I don't know. I kind of I want to get a heli, but but, but do I? Oh, did we survive? We survived! This time around, we're alive! You cannot stop us now. Now what do we do? Now I have no freaking idea. What do I do? Build some subs, I guess. Some ballistics missiles with uh, some crap in here. Um... 51. This is Camo Bloons territory. And we're going to go for another Ice Tower. We're actually going to go pretty high. I think we're going to go Arctic Wind over here, man. Um, we got to start watching out for the Moabs, though. They're going to start coming in pretty ham on us here. But we're actually doing pretty well, dude. There we go. Uh, let's go Larger Radius Refree Snowstorm. Let's get that guy going. I think a Glue Gunner might not be bad at all. I think we might even go two Glue Gunners over here. Around 54 already, man. This is going quite good. Quite good. Glue so Corrosive Glue. My Moab popping power, though, is definitely lacking, guys. Um, let's go for that second ninja up to uh, Blue Jitsu here. Send a few more rounds. We do need that Perishing Potion. Give me a quick second here, man. We're going to go for Perishing Potions. That's going to increase our Alchemist power just that much more. 58, 59. How the heck are we still alive, boys? I have no idea. Um, let's go Razor Rotors. I might go for, like, an Apache Dart Ship or something weird. I don't know what else I want to buy. Super Monkeys, maybe? But, like, realistically, is that going to actually help us out here? Uh, I would love to get an Apache Dart Ship, even if I have to sell something. Maybe even sell my glue. He might not be worthwhile anymore. He's got me four pops so far. That's garbage. 63, it's official. All right, after 63, hopefully after 63, we're going to send this thing out. Um, four grand is what we got here. Uh, 66, still going pretty strong, man. Still going pretty strong. I can't believe it. We're selling it. Oh, you can't sell. You can't You can't sell. All right. We're going to freeze them all. Let's give me some more time to react here. I was kind of planning on being able to sell things. That really screws up. Screws things up here. I wanted the Apache Dart Ship. No. <laughs> we lost with $17,000, $18,000 in the bank. $18,000 in the bank, guys. Oh, if only you could sell, man. If only. Something you, you miss out on here, though. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. No worries. We're okay. We're, we're okay. <sighs> that was rough, though. But we did really, really well. I gotta say, man, I feel pretty confident in our ability to get top 10% if we can pull this off. Um, same strat without glue? Possibly. That might be the answer. Uh, Alright. Um, okay, let's try it. Let's try, like, 35 rounds, man. Just go hard. 34 rounds. Benjamin right away. We want to get him leveled up here right away. Uh, but we got to get these wizards flowing as well. Um, holy crap. Holy crap. That is freaking amazing, I got to say. Oh, I sent it out! Why, why cruel world? Why? I got to get the blue jitsu here and just hope for the best. Um... Go, little heli pilot, go! Oh, why did I set up the Moab, guys? Why? I suck. Oh. 
Good thing I don't care about monkey money, man. Good thing I don't care. Or do I? I don't know. I kind of do. 33, 34 rounds right from the get-go. Kablamo. DJ Benjamin. 37. Did we go up to 39? 38, 39. Wall of Fire. Holy crap. Freaking beautiful, dude. Freaking beautiful. Do I even need two Walls of Fire? I guess that's a real question for us here. I do want to wait those few seconds, though. I got to get... Oh, my God. Look at the freaking money. Look at the money. All right. I think I'm ready for it, though. A uh, little early, but I can go rounds underneath that, I think. Uh, we're going to go all the way up to Stronger Stim here. We're going to hope that this is enough to take down the Moab. I believe it should. I don't see how it couldn't. Uh, yes, we do take him down. Wonderful. I'm not sure if this Heli is even a good guy to go for, but I'm going to get at least something low tier. And we're going to go for a nice Arctic Wind. Beautiful! We get an Arctic Wind, refreeze. We're going to go for that Snowstorm as well. I just kind of like the idea of it. More Moabs coming out very, very soon, though. Ooh, whoop! There it is! There it is, 50. Real Moabs coming out right now, though. Real Moabs coming out. 53. More walls of fire. Yeah, but this Moab popping power, guys, that is our definite weakness right now. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to try to save up for it, though. I'm going to I'm gonna take it a little bit slow. Like, just a, li a wee bit slow here. Uh-oh. That was maybe a little bit not slow enough. A lot of Moabs coming out right here. A lot of balloons trying to take us down right now. $13,000, though. Don't tell me I'm going to screw up again. Oh, 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 I just pressed buttons. Didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. I don't like saving up $20,000. Maybe I pushed it too hard, but $20,000 is a lot of freaking money to save up. What could we do instead? Let's try doing that, but with the ninjas. All right, let's try doing exactly that, but we're going to spam shinobis. Oh, what's the hotkey for ninjas, man? I got Oh, D. We're going to be d it up all over today, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Check this out. Arcane Spike, not a bad idea. But that's still $10,000. Kind of expensive. Let me try this out. Let's see if this works. Um, also, I should probably be buying the upgrade for my sub as well. I forget which one's better, but both of them do kind of the same thing. Um, all right. 39 rounds. All right, it's all about... D I, lo I lost round 20. All right, so 39 rounds, just a little bit too much. Just a little bit too many rounds. Uh, kind of suspected. But uh, I felt I felt so good about it. We're going to go pretty hard here still. 33 or 34. We'll give ourselves a tiny little break to get that wizard money going. Um, and we can sort of just slowly add on to these guys right now. Slowly. Once you get that wizard, you're good to go for 39. Get a second dose of Wall of Fires here, man. You can go with Tets Magic on both of them. Woman Respector, there he is! Welcome, my friend. We're going D's all day today. Woman Respector, give me one second, dude. I will get, I will get you going. All right, here we go. Round 40. We're going for it. We're going to try and save up for the Blue Jitsu. We're going to set up extra rounds, though, to get this extra money flowing. And I think I need the Stronger Stim, though. I think I need the Stronger Stim, or else I'm going to lose. Uh... Holy crap. 45. Um, what do I want to do right now? I don't... Okay, we're going for it. Want another one of these guys. Another Bloom Jitsu. And then we're going to uh, power these guys up with uh, Shinobis. Slowly over time, man. We're going to see if this is going to work out for us. Just a little bit here. A little bit there. Not sure if this is going to be a valid strategy at all, guys. This is what I'm going broke for it. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Shinobis. Let's get this uh, Perishing Potions. 55 already, baby. Shinobi. Shinobi me up. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Alright, um, I'm going jungle drums, I guess, on these guys. We're going for it. Uh, do I want to get that frozen popping power here? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the answer, guys. I don't know. But why did I get primary training? One life! What? One life! <laughs> oh no, it didn't, it didn't matter at all. You know, I liked it. I liked the strategy, but I don't think Shinobi's is the answer, guys. I don't think it's the answer. Um, unless I was going all the way up to a Grandmaster, I don't think it's going to matter. One life was clutch, but not clutch enough, man. Hey, thank you guys. I want to remind you guys that I'm really, really bad during races at responding to comments. So please forgive me. Um, I don't pay attention too much to the comments while I'm doing races. I try to do my best, but of course, I'm paying attention to the game the most, right? So let's take it a little slow this time. First of all, thank you, Jonathan, very, very much, my man. Hi, Pippo, back at it again. Is he raising the roof, or is he, you know, reaching out to strangle somebody? I guess you don't really know. Either way, but thank you so much. And then also to Woman Respecter with that $5.69. Don't know why you like that number, but... Sure, I'll take it. Thank you, man. Happy Friday. How's my day going? Uh, much better than Wednesday. I still feel better, but I almost choked to death today. I was eating, so just really quick, because I can't tell the story while playing the game. Very, very quick. Uh, I was eating a salad. Uh, and for whatever reason, uh, the red vinaigrette dressing <clears throat> always gets me. It always makes me choke. I, I it goes down the wrong hole. Like, every time I eat it. Maybe not every time. Maybe, like... Okay, I, I'm totally exaggerating. Maybe like 30% of the time, I eat it, and it goes down the wrong hole, and I choke. Normally, it's just like a, oh, 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 okay, I'm good. That wasn't fun, but it was it was bad. Today, though, I literally I was at the point where I was like, like choking, and I was like, oh, and I ran over, and I tried to drink water, but I was like, oh, and I coughed up like a bunch of phlegm and stuff like that. I was freaking dying, dude. I was dying. So, uh, other than that, though, Pretty good day, overall. Pretty pretty good day. Luna actually went on a walk with me, by the way. Also very very nice. Uh, but let's go, Shinobi. More like Shinobi suck. Okay, guys, we got this in the freaking bag. We got it. This game, I've got it. Uh, thirty three rounds. Thirty three. We got a Benji. Uh, we're gonna get our wizard flowing. Fire a bull, wall of fire, looking good, 38, 39, nice totally sweat. fantastic. Maybe I don't need a second wizard and I can just go for a quick blue jitsu here for cleanup on my alchemist, with my alchemist. Send out round 40, we're going a little early on it, but I think it should pay off here. As long as we get at least Berserker Brew, but I realistically I want the stronger stem before he gets here. I can send out a few extra rounds if I feel like it. Get that stronger stem, perfect freaking timing. Tell me I'm going to get perfect timing here, boys. Perfection! Woo! And we can buy another wizard over here with uh, Wall of Fire. We are currently disabled for a quick second here, but we get it in time. Jack back! Yo, Super, I made it. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Let's go for an extra Wall of Fire. I'll get to you in just a second, dude. I, prom I promise, all right? I promise. Right now, I'm focusing to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. We're going to go for that Glue Gunner. We're trying for a different type of strategy, man. Um, 52, 53. We can set up some Moabs here, but we don't want to go too crazy. We're only relying on our single ninja right now to kind of get all of these guys popped. And that's just not going to be good for us in the long run. So we're going to have to pop a heli in here. Maybe a second ninja if we really want to. You know, we can go like that. Perishing potions with a second ninja. Then a few more Moabs if we feel like it. Then I really need to find something that can pop uh, Moabs. And I think I'm going to go with a, a, a weird strategy. All right, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try a super monkey up in the front here. All right, we're going to put him on strong. All right, we're going to go for a dark knight super monkey. We're going to set a few more rounds here. We're still, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty confident But my ability to pop these balloons. Here we go, dark knight man in the front. In the front, that's going to be a good Moab popper for us. Uh, not so great against balloons, obviously, but we can slowly upgrade them over time. 63 is coming up, though. That's a big balloon level. I just don't know if we're going to have enough for it. But here we go. We got Plasma Blast going. I feel pretty confident about that. Uh, let's get another Ice Tower. Nah. 
now I don't know what to... Oh, God. I needed more balloon popping power. Just a smidge, though. I really like that strategy. I need something for a little bit more balloon popping power. Because I used up my wizards. Bloon trap? I don't, I'm not a big fan of bloon trap. Are you guys a big fan of bloon trap? I don't know. Um, I could upgrade my wizards. I could upgrade my ice towers. I could get an extra ice tower. <clears throat> Sadly, no more. Just, ooh, I can go for subs. All right, guys. All right. We got it. We got it. This is this has to be it. Unless I push it. Oh, God. Well, we got to change up our strategy now. Because I just bought the wrong upgrades. Unless. Maybe it'll be okay. Oh, it, it might be okay. It's not ideal. Um, not super ideal. But uh, I think it's going to work out decently enough for us. Hopefully. 33. Maybe a little bit slow. There we go. Oh, crap! I sent out the Moab! What do I do? Turn it up. Turn it up. Party monkeys. No, nope, not good enough. That was a nice play, though. I wish I knew the hotkeys better, guys. I don't. So I accidentally bought the wrong thing there. That screwed me up right from the get-go. That's not the strategy I even wanted. 100 monkey money, pff, gone, just like that. Just like that, man. Let's see, 35 seems to be the round that might end up doing the damage to us. Wall of fire, no problem. We go all the way up to 39 here. Get that ninja going. Pretty much right away, you can alchemize both these ninjas. Um, Oh, Benjamin's making us real, real cash flow here, boys. Some real dirty, 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 delicious cash flow here. Let's go twin guns and airburst darts on it. It's more expensive, but hopefully it's better. I don't know. Um, I didn't get stronger stim, though. Ooh, we're losing lives, but hopefully we don't lose the game. Hopefully we don't lose the game here. I'm actually good for a few more, a few more rounds. Uh, Arctic wind already. That's crazy, man. Crazy awesome. Ballistics missile, twin guns, and airburst starts. This will actually help out against the Moabs as well, but I still got to get that uh, real good Moab popper, you know? I got to get a second ninja too. <clears throat> At least. We want to alchemize quite a few of these guys. going to be double Moabs coming out right now. Not good. Not good. But we're hopefully going to survive it here. Actually, no freaking problem, dude. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. First strike, man. We got enough money for that. That's $13,000. I don't think that's the answer. Uh, here we go. Dark Knight. Laser Blast. 62. Last time we lost because of our lack of balloon popping power, so I don't want to push it too hard. Um... Let's get that second ice tower. I don't know if I love this idea, but we're going to go for it, man. Um, let, you know, let's get Snowstorm first. 63. Here's those balloons. All right. Double ice towers. Uh, I don't know what else to get for balloons, though. That's my big problem, man. I mean, I could try for snipers just in the corner down here. I don't love it. I don't love it, but... If that's what I'm going to go for, man, let's make it happen. I could also do something goofy like a weird middle path helipilot or something like that. Um, you know, just send the balloons backwards with my extra cash flow that I have. All right, I'm going all in. Here it is. I'm going all in on it. Why did I go all in, guys? Why did I go all in? I don't have mortars! 
Don't have them. So here's my here's all the towers that I got, guys. It's it's it is limited. Only two support monkeys. There's no good group popping power. Is my big problem. Uh, flash bomb maybe. That's okay, but that's not that great. Wizard still not good group popping power. Like out of forest year two, they're not. They're, it's not good for blues. It just isn't. Hey, Jack man, you had a revelation yesterday. It was feeling very empowered and felt super strong. Awesome, dude. That is exactly what I love to hear. I love when you guys have awesome stuff like that. What gave you the revelation? A bunch of sentries, also not great for balloons. I mean, realistically, our best bet is probably glue strike, glue storm. Slow all the balloons down, get them all glued. They're all going to be corrosively, you know, slowly destroyed over time. Uh, I wish that I... Oh, I could get a nu other nuclear sub down here, man, to kind of finish off those balloons. Ice shards, also not a bad idea at all. I might pop an ice shards like right here, dude. Fantastic idea. Yeah, I got. I gotta give that a shot. Ice shards. I love the idea. Okay, I'll see if I can get it actually down in time to make it all happen properly. All right, thirty-four, thirty-five. Um. Let the beat drop. <laughs> nice beach ball. Party monkey. Next level. What did we say we wanted to get? We wanted to get ice shards over here. Pretty freaking good, man. I didn't mean to buy that glue gunner, by the way. I meant to buy this glue hose. Good. I'm glad you were unsubbing. It makes me happy. All right, guys. Let's uh, take a quick break here, and then we're going to push it pretty far. I think I'm going to go with 68 here. I'm going to try a glue strike. Um, glue strike. Glue storm, probably not worth it. 14 grand. It's a little bit too much for us. And I think we got to go all in here at this point. I don't know what else I could possibly do better. Uh, oh, I didn't build my super monkey at all this time, though. Next level. Maybe he was not the right tower to build. He seems like he's too expensive. Regents. All right, guys, we're all in. I mean, this is all we've got here. I really want to get an Apache Dart Ship would be my ideal, ideal, ideal goal right here, right now. Uh, screw the Super Monkey, but but it didn't matter. Four grand away from that Apache, man. I really want it. I just can't build that Super Monkey. If I didn't have the Super Monkey, I would have been fine. You can't sell, though. I know. It sucks, right? We all want to freaking sell these stupid garbage towers. No freaking selling, though. Oh, it was a good try. It was a good try. 
All right, 34, boom, boom. We're getting really good on our start. It's just our finish. We're learning as we go is the good news. Why didn't that work? I wonder. I feel like every other time it worked. It just didn't work that time. I don't know. That sucks. Benjamin! Get up in here, boy! I want you to jam them balloons. Sadly, no dart monkeys here either. That sucks! Marisa! Hey, Chris, thanks for all the super jump awesomeness. <laughs> thank you. So kind of you. Again, as usual, guys, I cannot say thank you enough for all the donations, man. You guys are fantastic. You guys really do put a smile on my face. And I don't mean to, I don't mean to like say the only way to put a smile on my face is with the donations, but like it seriously does mean a freaking lot. It really does. Alright, we are pushing ourselves just a bit too hard, guys. We're trying to get, like, a top freaking 2% freaking strategy here. We need to stop doing that. We need top 10. That's it. Let's get a top 10 -er. Top 10 -er. We're going to be totally fine here with a top 10 -er. Alright, alright, alright. Looking good, looking good. 37, 38, 39. Put it on. Wall of Fire looking beautiful. I think our intense magic might have, might have had something to do with it as well. But, uh, I... I don't know. I don't know. Just wait wait a quick second here, I guess. That's all we really need to do. Next level. There we go. Now we'll push it. Right? Now we're going to push it. 42, 43, 44. Buy another wizard hopefully in time here now. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's a big difference right here. We're going to get everybody going right now. Easy peasy. 49.50. We're going pretty hard right here, boys. Let's get a second ninja while we're at it. Let's get that ice tower going like we wanted to. And we're going to spam the subs. You know? I, I, I love the subs, man. I think they're fantastic. All right, maybe not perfect. Next level. These subs are doing fantastic work, man. They really are. There are a lot of extra mode pop and power for me. Like, that's exactly what I need, dude. Um, ballistics missiles across the board. I love the ballistics missiles, by the way. Uh, let's get a snowstorm while we're at it. And then, I don't know. Do we want to just save up for that Apache right now? Like, just go with the flow for a little bit. Uh, see if we can save up for that Apache. Let's get embrittlement at the very least. All right, that's going to be my goal. Let's see if I can make it happen, man. I'm actually going to put him over here. I'm going to get him his own alchemist if I need to. I don't want to take away from the ninja's power here. Put him on follow mouse. You know what? Let's just... Yeah, let's just put him on follow mouse. Let's actually... Nah, I don't know. 67. Oh, man, I'm pushing it so hard. Why do I do this to myself, dude? Why do I do this to myself every time? Give me some extra cash flow up in here, hopefully. All these new balloons are giving me extra money, man. we got to freeze these guys right in range. Beautiful. Give me that Apache money. Pretty, pretty, please give me that Apache money. I want it. 10,000. 
You know, we got 8,000 to go. We're going to send out the rounds, but slow. Just a round at a time. Round every few seconds here. No big dealio. The big one, the big tough ones for us are going to be like 76 and 78. So as long as we're making a decent chunk of cash flow in here, I'll be good. 72. No worries, no worries. We're good, guys. How do you feel? How do you feel? What are the chances of us winning this one? 12%. A lot of Moebs. A lot of Moebs. Don't like the, like, don't like the Moebs. Send it a new round because we don't like Moebs. Send it a new round. We don't like Moebs. More rounds. All right. Go all in, baby. It's all in. Apache dart ship. Here we go. Let's get him his own alchemist, man. I don't know how, it's gonna, how much it's going to matter for an Apache dart ship, but we're going for it. All right. Oh, I got faster throwing. All right. That's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. What am I going to do with my extra money, man? If I can, I mean, I save up for a first try. Oh, no. Look at that! Real frickin' ridiculous! Oh my god! How did we survive? I, I, don't, I don't know! The most clutch ability power of all time, man! I did not even see it happening! Why are there so many BFBs on the screen? That's what I want to know! Why are there so many frickin' BFBs? Oh man, I bought counter espionage. Uh, Freaking uh, ninjas over there. I don't know, don't know why I did that, but I did. Go Apache, go! Go Apache, go! Yeah, yeah, Apache! Dodge ship! So unbelievably clutch. And we still didn't even do a good job. I would say we did an okay job. Come on, please tell me top 10%. Please tell me top 10% right there. Come on, boys. Come on, let's do it. Check it out. Let's check out this leaderboard. Five minutes. Top 25. 443rd. We got 443rd place. Maybe we made top 500. How are we still top 25%, man? Why can't I scroll down here? What can we see? Top 100? 240. Two forty. What the heck is the strategy for 240, man? Oh my god. I thought I did a good job. Jack back, thank you. You always make my day, man. Best stream, cheers. You you make my day too, man. I, no, seriously, like it's it's good. No, I don't think these are hackers. I think these are legit peeps, man. I gotta say, uh, I thought I had a pretty good uh, st oh siphon funding. Is that what I did wrong? I didn't siphon fund properly. I used it once. A czar bomb. There's no monkey aces. I know, I know. All right, I'm gonna give it one more shot. One more stupid shot here. Benjamin level 20. I did get Marisa's donation. Well, the first one at least. I don't know if she donated again. But yes, I got her donation. Thank you very much, Marisa. Thanks for all. Yeah, Super Jom. Super Jom awesomeness. Super Jom bombiness. Or bombus. Bombus body right here. No, I wouldn't. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, they, they were pretty good, man. If they can get half the time that I got. Whoa. All right, one last try. Seriously, last try. Unless I lose very, very quick. How could I chop off two minutes? I missed. I did miss donations. I am Jay. What did you say, my man? I'm so sorry if I missed donations, especially during uh, uh, things. It's it's hard, man. It's hard. I did not miss Jack Max. I got. I got. I, j I got Jacks. Jack's always good to me, man. Thank you. All right. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something else besides a substart, like uh, some sort of weird wizard play. We use the ice tower properly and like actually get rid of the purple balloons. I don't know. Um, we could. 
Okay, not last try. We're gonna go at least like two or three tries. I want to. I want to give this weirdo strategy a shot. Wall of fire in the front. Ice tower here. Another wall of fire, kind of where we did him before. And then we're gonna build our. Uh, Benjamin pretty quick. Let's make some noise. Maybe my problem is the Moab. <laughs> uh, I don't see that as being better. I just don't. It, this is just so much better. So much freaking better, dude. At least to start, you know, we could switch like we could switch it later, but uh, thirty nine. I just gotta figure out a better, cheaper way to beat this Moab. I don't know, maybe a sniper. Um, control the heli pilot. We did survive. Reactor in the back, too. Or do we start off with a reactor? No, we gotta do the reactor in the front. Reactor in the back would not be a bad idea, though, for those leftover balloons. I, I thought about that earlier, and then I just completely changed to not thinking. Sadly, no dart monkeys, no ultra jugs. This is my last try. Legit last try. I am just going to be satisfied with what I've got if, if I don't Let's get this. We might actually get top 10% by more people entering the race. This worked out okay last time, by the way. Turn it up. Let the We're still behind. I feel like I'm pushing it to the freaking limit and we're still behind. Oh, we're, well, we're now we're plus 30 seconds. Holy crap. All right, we're doing pretty good. I don't have much Moab popping power is my big problem right now. 
And I'm not making much money either. All oh, five seconds down. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. We can't just cut it by five seconds. We got to push it harder. Even if it makes us lose, we got to push it harder. Otherwise, there's no point of even playing these. Okay, that's all of them, man. How you like me now? Just uh, it's uh, a game of time right now, boys. It's a game of time. Realistically, I think first strike is probably my best answer. At thirteen thousand dollars, just save out the money if we got it. Uh, that's all I can do. There is no aces. There's no ground zeros. There's no insta kills. They specifically did this, by the way, guys. I think at least they specifically did this. We're gonna beat our time, I think. I mean, all eighty rounds are out before three thirty. It's just about how fast will we pop these guys. Um. Will the first strike even actually matter? I, I don't know. Sniper might be a not bad answer either, but I think I'm going to go for the first strike here. Uh, at least I'm going to try for it. First strike is here, but that's not actually doing that well for us right now. This, oh my god, is going to be a pain in the freaking butt. And we could not take down the Zoma God. Everything else was easy peasy. We couldn't take down the Zoma God. Wow. All right. Since we got so close, we have to try one more time, right? We have to. We have to. We can't not do it. Um. All right. Yeah, the reactors do do things if you upgrade them now. They used to be not the case, but... Um, I press play again. I have to play again now. I just, it was a freaking habit. I just pressed the button. I know, I should get the higher level alchemist too, but it's like I'm pressing so many freaking buttons all at the same time, man. It's like so many different moving parts here. And it's tough. Let's make some noise. It's tough, man. It's like so many different upgrades all over the frickin' place. Plus the helipal, trying to micro that thing is frickin' ridiculous, dude. That 
Okay, not too shabby. I'm down. I'm freaking down right now on my time. Wow. My God, I was doing really good though, but it probably isn't even enough. Um, I don't think it really matters what what which one you get. I think they're both just better. I I haven't done any science on them yet. Um, One does extra speed, one does extra uh, range or something weird. Um, Here we go. This is the difference in my play this time. I'm going for that super monkey again, even though I think he's probably going to suck. Once we get this plasma, I mean, that's going to be good MOA popping power. That's all 80 rounds, man. We cut it down by 37 seconds, but I could not pop the regen balloons in time. Or could I? Or could he? He has done it. Somehow, ridiculously, he has popped the regen balloons, but it's still not over. It's still not over, boys. Oh, my God. I don't even know what killed us. 65? 65? What? Holy crap! Oh my god! Why am I still here? I don't know why I'm still here, guys. I really don't. I, c I cannot tell you the answer to that question. Let's make some noise.
Why did I send out a Moab? Why did I just send out a Moab against myself? I do not know how I am still freaking alive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is absolutely insane. I, if I, I, how the heck am I alive? I, I don't know. I don't know. No freaking idea. I'm really pushing it. Another heli. Forty-seven seconds down. That is crazy, dude. Party I totally messed that all up at the end. I wanted to build a wizard over there, and I'm like, oh, crap, I messed up on my wizards. Oh, crap. Why am I even playing this? I don't know, but now I feel like I have to beat it one more time. I have to. Oh, well, they just want you to keep playing monkey money, man. That's what they want from you. Oh, I sent out 85, 35. I didn't mean to do that. 35 usually hurts you. Not this time, though. Not bad. Not bad. It's really tough to send up the next rounds while doing this. That's one thing that I'm noticing. All right, I'm going to try to get... Oh, my God, I used up on my wizards. Why? Why? Chris, why did you do that? Oh, I'm down my time, man. I'm down on time already. I think Super Monkey was on strong, or else I screwed up. I didn't mean to. But, uh... I still don't think Super Monkey's the answer. I just keep building him, because I'm just like, what else could I freaking do? I want to get my wizard right here. You know, after I screw up on my wizard, I need to get two wizards here, one wizard here, let him kill all of the uh, Moabs, you know? And then the balloons can just get finished up all right here. All right. We're going for it. Let's make 
that. Make some noise. That's weird. Like sometimes it does a good job, sometimes it doesn't. It's like almost uh, a little bit of RNG there or something. I, I don't know. Or maybe misplacement on on stuff. I, I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> we're so, so close. Uh, I can't build more uh, uh, walls of fire because i got to get this one up, and I can only build three, so total. Um, that actually went pretty smoothly if I was just like a second faster with my uh, thingamabob. going early here, boys. Ah, crap. Bought the wrong thing. Turn it up. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I've got to get uh, Arcane Spike, I think. I'm just going to wait it. Wait it out for a quick second here. Yeah. I mean, I'm close. Oh, I'm freaking calling it. I'm done. Oh, man, I can't beat my current record already. That's crazy. I thought I did good. But, uh, I, I just, even if I'm, even if I win, I'm only going to cut down like 10, 20, 30 seconds tops. I'm not cutting off no 45 seconds, you know, not even a minute. So, uh, I'm going to call it for now. Oh, boys, we just played a race for an hour and 12 minutes. We lost about 3,000 uh, plus monkey money. Yeah, I wasn't talking much, I know. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to beat... I'll try to beat this real quick for you guys. We're going to we're gonna do it real freaking fast, man. Uh, just got hard. It's not an extreme mode or anything like that. It should be pretty simple for us, but it's something a little goofy. 
Um, so, uh, what we got to do, I actually looked at it already, just as a heads up. Yeah, my wallet, that 3,000 monkey money, guys. That's not, Ninja Cube is going to get my real money now. You don't have any don't have any monkey money left. Can't play the game if I don't have any monkey money. Uh, The new hero. Let's, let, let's toss down a new hero in here. There he is. Etienne. So uh, what's weird about this one is you've got uh, magic monkeys, primary, military, magic, primary. So, that being said, we have to focus mostly on primary, because this is going to be our tough round. Um, magic monkeys shouldn't be too bad, but like, again, this is not a good map for magic monkeys. So, like, wizards are going to be all, it's going to be all about wizards here. Uh, military only. Probably get away with, like, a helipilot and a hero or something like that. You know, just whatever. Primary only on spring spring, another tough primary monkey. Uh, map and then magic monkeys only so we're gonna have to think about this kind of before we leave this is something we definitely have to think about we don't want a super monkey he's garbage i think i get away with a ninja one ninja and probably some wizards maybe like two wizards you can only have two anyways um that'll be my magic monkeys with a here with a hero should be good um then we're gonna need a little bit of military like uh i don't know um Probably a sniper and a alley pilot. I think we can get a watch just that. Yeah, let's try it. It could be a little difficult, but I think we could pull it off. Unless, I don't remember which map was the military only. And then we just need primary. So we're going to grab a dart monkey, boomerang, grab a third attack shooter. I don't know if we need more glue gunners, but uh, we'll grab a couple cannons up in here too. We got, th oh man, we got a lot of seats left. Let's grab some ice towers while we're at it. And then we're going to grab... I guess we're just going to grab an extra ninja. And I guess if we have it, man... I mean, we got a lot of seats to work with here. Let's do it. Alchemist. I don't think we need him. I think we're good without him. Ace, we don't need him. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's just try it out, man. We're going for it. We're jumping in. We're jumping in it. All right, boys, Etienne, to start, let's go. Here we go. Hey. Jack again, man, thank you. I cannot say thank you enough, dude. I cannot. I uh, got to get going. Well, oh, yeah, I mean, it's freaking early in the morning there, isn't it? Uh, happy to help out today. Got to get my Odyssey in today as well. Oh, yeah, good luck with that, man. These Odysseys are going to be a little cray-cray. Little bit cray cray. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're going to go for a wizard over here. Well, th again, Jack, thank you so much, man. If there's ever anything I can do for you, let me know pretty, pretty please. Just I'll give you a big heart for today, man. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't get to see what your revelation was, though. If you want, feel free to send me the revelation later, or you can type it out again. I did not see it. You probably typed it out. I just missed it. I'm a jerk. You know, I know I'm sorry. Didn't get to see. I was, in the, I was in the race mode. And I still sucked. Even while in race mode. Alright, I think my goal is going to be... Uh, top Path Wizard. Low Path Ninja. Uh, or, bottom, or probably Top Path Ninja too. I don't know. He's just so good. How can you go without a Top Path Ninja, man? But uh, my positioning is kind of screwed up here. You can't see the top of the walls. I guess this should be good enough. Let's do that. And we're good. A long, oh, you're watching YouTube on a long drive. Now that's interesting. You must get unlimited data, man. I don't get no unlimited data. I gotta pre-download stuff when I'm going on a long drive. All right, guys. I think we can pull this off. I don't know.
I use Google Fi, which by the way, I actually like Google Fi. Um, if anybody wants to switch to Google Fi, I can give you a code and I'll, I'll, I'll get 20 bucks, all right? Um, but it's not for everybody, I gotta, I gotta say. It's one of those things where if you, it's, it's for people who don't mind paying per gig. Um, you're either working from home or you're just at home a lot or you have Wi-Fi you can go to all the time. Uh, my phone bill is usually about 30 bucks a month, though. I usually use about a gig per month, uh, even on bad months, you know. Because uh, where's the thing? I used to go with Sprint, and I used to pay 60 bucks a month for unlimited. I'd be like, well, I'll never have to deal with not having enough data, right? Well, uh, I need Arcane Mastery, dude. I need it. I need it. It's going to give me that range boost. Google Fi, yeah, Marisa? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I've never had any issues with uh, uh, not having the right amount of data. But I used to go with Sprint. It used to be 60 bucks a month. And I get unlimited, which is sweet. Never have to worry about ever paying more than 60 bucks a month. Really, it was like 66 with tax or something like that. Taxes and fees. <clears throat> it's not cheap, though. You know? I mean, like, if you could ever save money, do it. Save the frickin' money. That's all I gotta say. Uh, and with Google Fi, it's 20 bucks standard to keep your phone number. Get unlimited text and calls. Good. Ten dollars per gig. So uh, you kind of just have to look and see how many gigs you're using. Um, uh, if you're using like, uh, basically, if I was using less than four gigs a, a month, I'd be saving money. And if I did magically go over, like I have a really, really bad month and I use like twelve gigs or something like that, you're thinking, "Well, you totally screwed yourself over, Chris." Totally screwed yourself over. But luckily, Google Fi is really cool, and they max you out at 80 bucks a month. So you can never pay more than 80 bucks a month. Uh, all the way up to, like, 20 gigs or something like that. Which, like, it's almost impossible to use that. It's, like, insanity. Unless you're, like, running a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Ha uh, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot or something like that. You ain't gonna get that. And you're downloading stuff with that hot Wi-Fi hotspot. Downloading big, chunky movies and stuff like that. Which most people don't do, by the way. I should add that. All right, I don't have any lead popping power. Um, I kind of forgot none of these guys got lead popping power here. Well, that sucks. Um, metal spam, absolutely, man. If you want money, you got to metal spam. Okay, relying on Wall of Fire here. It does work out for us. We're gonna go for Dragon's Breath. We got the we got the thing. Needlessly difficult. Hmm, interesting. Now we're making it harder on ourselves on this map, alright? We're only going with three towers. Three magic monkey. Three magic monkeys. Where, um Eep, purple blue. It's not fun for us. Not fun for us at all. Uh where the primary monkeys we gave us a lot. We gave us like eight eight primaries. So we should be good with the primary monkeys. Though that last map, no matter how good you are, it's going to be difficult going primaries only. Uh, the reason why it ends up being sort of easy, because in military, just shoot across the ways and everything. You really have like separated like two spots now. And no extra money as well for that last map. So it's going to be a little difficult. Oh, medular man. Don't get me talking about seafood. Oh boy. Anybody who watches this channel consistently will know that Chris loves his crab legs. He's a crab leg fiend. Loves them. <laughs> 80 gigs. Holy crap. Well, the weird thing about it, a lot of those companies, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, if you do get, if you do go up, they might say, unlimited. But if you go above like 8 gigs or something like that, they slow you down. It's like your Wi-Fi might be normally at like, you know, 30 megabits per second or something like that, and then they switch it on over to, um, you know, 5 bit, five megabits per second, or even 3, or 2, or 1, and it's like, well, what the heck was the freaking point of that, man? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Crab Lake Chris, man. Actually, I, out of all of my, um, my nicknames, Crab Lake Chris was not one of them, but really, data's cheap for you guys. Good for you, man. I mean, I, I hey, if you can get it cheap, awesome. I get... Uh, my, let's just say my butt is sore. Oh, crap. My butt is sore after, um, looking at having to pay for internet. Um, I have to pay Comcast. Uh, worst thing about Comcast is probably, I don't pay attention to other YouTubers, but I've, I've heard of a lot of them. Um. Three. 
Uh, worst thing about Comcast, though, is that they have a one terabyte maximum internet thing you can use. You can only use a terabyte, which sounds like a lot, but over a month, a terabyte really isn't that much. A thousand gigabytes, basically. And, uh, oh boy, oh boy. It's not much, man. It ain't much at all. So we don't have to beat round 63, so that's that's why this is going to end up being pretty easy. We're just going to summon a phoenix. We're going to be totally good. Here we go. Monkey sense. Get monkey sense on this guy, too. We don't need guided magic on the fireball, man. Just let him go. Let him go. Uh, overall, though, I have to say, even though Comcast does destroy me with how much money I have to pay, I almost never have any outages or big problems with my internet. So that is one lucky thing about him. But when I was uploading... When I stream, obviously a lot of data going to YouTube. When I upload the recorded stuff, a lot of data going up. If I ever have to upload to YouTube or download YouTube stuff or whatever, tons of data. I can easily break the one terabyte limit. And then if you do, it's like a ridiculous $500 charge. I've only done it like twice, though, where I've gone over. And luckily, no, only once, because they give you two leeway months or something like that, where if you do screw up and you do end up... Um, going over the one terabytes, they don't charge you. So at the least, they're not completely unreasonable. I would say that for most households, one terabyte's probably enough. Uh, for YouTubers, it's a little rough. I can usually get by with about 500, 700, or something like that, but unlike a bad month, or when a new game comes out or something, I can easily hit a terabyte, man. I can, easily, I can see it. I have to actually watch myself a little bit, you know? Um... I don't torrent much, if any, anymore, but uh, back in the day, if you ever used to torrent a little bit, oh boy, that would add up real freaking fast, man. Uh, especially those the nice people who upload more than they download. It's supposed to have a one-to-one -one ratio, at least. Yeah, I know, crazy. It might be 300 bucks. I don't remember. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of money, though. It's insane. I know, that's what I was thinking, Ultra Epic Saber. Holy crap, why would more people want BTD, uh, BTD 7 over Battles 2? Plus, according to Ninja Kiwi, both games are not even thought about yet. Like, not in production. Um, so, uh, all three, actually all of them that I mentioned, are not in production. I was just curious what people would want the most. Uh, what are they doing with this money? Stealing it. <laughs> It's going to the million dollars, the ten, the, the CEOs that are paid $20 million a year or whatever. Ridiculous. Alright, I mean, we're basically at Arc Mage territory here, but it doesn't even matter. I think we're going to win no matter what, so... Um, let's just go summon Phoenix while we're at it, since we can actually use it in time. Oh, we got UCAB up, too. Boop. BTD4 rematch. You know, uh, basically the Ninja Kiwi archive was basically remastered. But I bet you they would have made more money if they sold them as a remastered version and charged people a dollar. I don't know, maybe good guy Ninja Kiwi on that aspect for free. I know I won't, I won't probably play them much, but at least they're there. So here we go, all in, round 60, baby. Whoop! Delicious. Now, one thing we did happen is we did lose six lives here. So that could end up... Oh, my God. That could end up playing into... Uh, what the heck is going on? What the heck was going on, man? Did you guys see that? All right, uh, Etienne in the front or in the back? I think right here is a pretty good spot. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, so we're going to use our free dot monkey. This level is tough for you. 80 rounds, I guess it is tough, difficult. Spring, spring. I think what we're going to do... Um, we we'll are have to split up our good monkeys here is what we're going to have to do. Uh, since we we could sell, but we're wasting if we sell. Let's go like this. Let's get a crossbow monkey over here. We're probably going to end up going for a crossbow mask. This map was the hardest, really. Even harder than the last map. It's 80 rounds for that one, too. 
Can't get past 80. Interesting. Alright, we're going to see what we can do here, boys. Let's see what we can do. I do have uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 total primary monkeys. Couldn't pop camo. Interesting. Well, this guy's going to give me automatic cam detection. Even though he's a little weaker for regular balloons. Um, and kind of starting off, it's going to be a little difficult. But the thing is, round 80 is either really easy or really difficult. Let's see if Chris can take it down, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm rooting for myself here. Uh, I might do a crossbow master on top and a attack uh, zone on the bottom. Maybe. Let's see. Lives will matter here too, so we gotta be careful. Um, if I got, oh man, that's gonna be enough range though. Usually you wanna go faster shooting on these guys. All right, we're going to misposition this guy just a little bit. All right, we're going to put him, like, over here. This is not ideal for a tax zone, but for right now, this will not be bad at all. That could be one of the best balloon poppers in the world. Kind of a goofy spot, by the way. Kind of goofy. And then we're going to need some cleanup towers. So I'm thinking, like, an ice tower in the back back here. Maybe even sell the start monkey. Arctic wind right here. Pop down a couple boom booms or something like that to finish them off. And then maybe just have a, an emergency Maelstrom. Or around 76, around 78 Maelstrom, you know? Maelstrom, yeah, there you go. Randy knows what's up, man. He knows about them Maelstroms. He know what up. I know, we be streaming hardcore, bro. Oh, my back kind of hurts. But yeah, I nearly choked to death on my vinaigrette today. Um, I need to stop eating that dressing. It's going to kill me one of these days. I swear, if you guys ever see in the news, YouTuber dies from stupidest reason ever. You might be thinking it's probably going to be Logan Paul or some stupid YouTuber doing stupid pranks or something stupid. No, it's going to be a YouTuber. It's going to be Super Child Bombo dying of choking on a vinaigrette dressing. That's what it's going to be. I actually had to, like, run and be like, oh, crap, like, will I survive this? So we will have cam detection. Uh, so we don't really need to go for cam detection here. But we, ha we have to go for a, a medium amount of cam detection. Oh, we don't have any lead popping power yet. Um, all right. All right, we're going to see if this works. Hopefully that works for us for a little bit. I almost died to lead, leads last time too, man. Lead seemed to be my, the bane of my existence, huh? We good, we good. We good in Chris's hood. All right, we're going to go overdrive. Delicious. I'm going to get that sharpshooter as well. I'm feeling them, guys. I'm feeling them. My fish is actually sick right now. He's either uh, extremely constipated or he's got dropsy. Uh, I'm actually what level is this guy? Yeah, we'll get we'll get the we'll get the cam protection. I don't know. I don't want to use up all my road spikes right now. I'll spend a little bit of money on that house, you know. Uh, but one of my betas is sick. Uh, there's it, the the problem is is if you ever have like a swollen fish, you don't really know what's wrong with him. Um, he could have a kidney problem, he could be constipated, uh, and he could have those things, but for a, another reason. So, uh, where are we at, man? Level 8. All monkeys got camo detection, baby! Whoop. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, here we go, sharpshooter. And then, uh, I think, my best bet here, let's think about Moabs, man. Kylie Boom Boom? Nah, we can't do it, can we? Can we? Should we? Kylie Boom Boom? Nah, that's not the right spot for him. Eh. I don't know. I think I'm going to go for a cannon. To start. I might do an ice tower eventually, but I think for now, I think the best thing for me to do. It's something that could pop them them uh, balloons near the back, man. Something. Lovely, lovely cam detection. Exactly. 5,000 monkey money or 5,000 real monies? Because if 5,000 monkey monies, go play some of the expert maps on easy, medium, and hard. Boom, you'll get it in two hours. Uh, so here we go. We're going to UAV this thing. These things suck.
What is wrong with his freaking gosh darn stupid things sucking? Look at these things, man. That's how it should go down. Should have been an easy win for us. Easy peasy. That's Tian in the back. Maybe I do need him in the back, man. I don't know. I don't know. Um, my real question is what am I going to do here? I'm realistically, I would love to save up for a crossbow master or something. I don't have much else that I can do at this point. Uh. Let's get the recursive cluster with heavy bombs. Um, I'm also going to get a sad boomerang right here. Up to a faster throwing glaive ricochet. Uh, Crossbow Master is actually pretty good. He has been buffed a couple times. Been nerfed, been buffed, been buffed, and then nerfed, then buffed, and buffed. And he's pretty good right now. He's not amazing, but he's good. Moab glue. I don't think we need Moab glue. You guys think we do? Realistically, I need a Crossbow Master before round 63, or I could switch into just more glaives. But really, I would love to have a Crossbow Master. Or, if I can afford it, man, I guess Attack Zone wouldn't be bad either. Just have one spot completely owned. That's fine. Oh, all right. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Ten times and put a concerted effort into saving for a crossbow master. Yeah, I like it. No, 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 no. Get out of here, Blinks. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to be in here. You're going to make me cry again, man. <laughs> no, I'm just messing, man. It's good to see you. Nah, I'm, j I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's good to see you. So we got lead balloons. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, another Moab. Not too shabby. We got a pretty good strat. Pretty good, pretty good. Finally got the Odyssey. Sweet. Sweet nips. Remember I said I was feeling pretty good earlier? I've hit, I've hit a wall. The wall has been spliced. Oh man, we gotta get them races flowing, dude. The races get top 10%, 25%, earn trophies. The Odysseys, though, are pretty easy, too. So, like, what, 50 automatic rounds just to get that going? Um, here we go. We UCAV for this one. 55 is actually pretty difficult, so we're actually going to, after our UCAV here, we're going to actually pop our drones down and hope that these guys can support me in my deathly, deathly journey here of beating round 55, hopefully. Perfect, perfect, perfect! And we get that Expo Master! Whoop. There he is. He's got enough range to hit Moabs all the way over there, man. That's beautiful. Beautiful. So that should, if all goes according to plan, get us to run 63. If I get, like, a more glaives or something like that. And maybe, like, a low-level ice tower. I don't know. It's weird if I want to go for an ice tower or not. I'd probably be better off with a higher-tier glue gunner, actually. And I think at this point I can get rid of this boomerang. So we're going to go like that. We're going to go like this. we go like that. And we're going to go, like, glue hose, glue soak, right? Put them on strong. Camel leads, though. No problem. No problem. Got him covered. My boomerang was actually doing a lot of lead popping power. Didn't even realize. Man, these drones freaking suck. Bottom side's a little rough right now. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. We got a UCAV too, though. Don't forget about that. That'll help out a lot for round 63, guys. Oh. Good. Boobaliciously bounce all over round 63 right here. All right. Pizza and footballs. I know, I know, right? That is pretty delicious. Huh? 63. How we doing? Woo! Woohoo! You Kevin. Just at the perfect time here, boys. 
Throw them drones down here, finish them off, and round 63 has been completed. Alright, uh, I'm still a little afraid. I mean, if we don't UCAP at the exact right time, we could be screwed. So, Overdrive? Oh, dude. Overdrive? Do not underestimate Overdrive. I think it's still one of the best upgrades in the game, even without Alchemist. One of the best towers in the game, dude. And now it's got automatic camera detection. That's even freaking better. So yeah, I probably will end up getting rid of the Dart Monkey for an Ice Tower later. But right now, my focus is just getting attack zone. You know, at least that's my goal. So we make it happen. It's pretty expensive. And we're in the, the kind of the drought. The money drought right now. We're not getting any money for a little while. So round 76. We don't get it up in time. We're going to have to go for a... a Maelstrom or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't think I need two crossbow masters. Nah, 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 nah. We don't need that. We could get it. Kind of cool. Oh, you know what? We should be fine. 76, 78. You cav. You cav. I am hacking the tack. Hello, Jello. Tier 6 towers in B57, maybe. <laughs> Zwergy, man, we just got done with the race. I would not listen to me. I only got top 25%, man. Top 440, I got 445th or something like that. So not terrible, but also not amazing. I have a feeling that they're probably going to adjust Tier 5 towers in future games. I don't think they're going to make tier sixes or if they do i don't know i don't see them making it more complicated than it currently is i know that it's been fun to make things more complicated but i don't think it's necessary change up how the temple works or something like that maybe i don't know tip for races don't spend three thousand monkey money trying to win a race Probably not a good idea. Alright, $22,000. We're getting close here, boys. 3000 more. Last week near McDonald's. I do not think so. Oh, that was lucky, man. We would have lost in 76 there. But we got the tax zone. We're looking good. Game over. We did it. We cannot play together. Not right now, at least. Look at that tax zone go, man. No extra upgrades, and he's just rocking these blooms. Check that out. With automatic cam protection, these blooms aren't even making it to here. I'm going to go around this entire circle, too. I'm now realizing that attack zone on this map is not that bad. I mean, you, you would think, oh, I need something that can go in the middle and attack both sides. No, let your towers do their job, man. One tower here, one tower there. Let them do their thing. Totally fine. They're still doing pops, you know? Plus, I love the confetti, guys. It did. It melted. Odyssey co-op would be interesting. I don't think they'll ever do it, most because you got to stick with somebody for, like, three hours uh, in co-op because it'll take longer because everybody's more laggy and crap. I don't see it ever happening. You know, I don't know. I don't know what the worst tower is in the game right now. I don't think I have a good answer for that. Here we go. Drones, drones, drones. Kill this watermelon. Okay, we're going the crossbow master route, which is actually probably good for us. We're going to UCAB this to finish him off, and oh my god, we Bursted him down to nothing, boys. Bursted him down to nothing. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. Another brick. Another pigeon. Etienne, we starting with you, my man? Looks like we gotta. Yeah, we gotta. I don't know how much I like this, but I'm really hoping his drone can reach that side. Okay, he can. Perfect. Perfect. Woo! This actually is going to be wonderful. Did not think this was going to be good. Prince of Darkness used to be real bad. I would say 
Ah, uh, yeah, he's still kind of bad, man. I think they're still trying to rework him again. It's like the fifth rework they try to do for him. Just no easy way to do it, right? All right, so one thing you're going to realize here, military only, only 60 rounds, guys. Uh, whenever I see that, I know that my answer is one thing in particular. All right. You want to get this guy up to a sharp spike, or the spike shot. Uh, 0 two, 5 and he's going to be beautiful. He's going to stop everything. Like, zero issues. But, but, to get started in the game, he's a little pricey. Right now, it is currently 6.54 p.m. Usually, I start streaming around 4 o'clock. Um, lately, I've been such a terrible, terrible YouTuber that, uh, uh, I just have not been doing a good job. Gonna lock him in place right here for now. I think Quincy's pretty reasonable. I don't know. I think a lot of people think that Quincy sucks. I think he's not that bad. He's a little different. <laughs> no, look who's playing BTD5. <laughs> look who decided to show up. I don't know if he's still watching. Maybe he's just having fun. Maybe he wants to beat me in the race. That's his goal. All right, guys, this is what you want to do. Shrapnel shot. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are still here. I didn't know if you are still here, man. Got to take me down to the race. He's got to get 400 and whatever, 24th or whatever. Oh, there he is. Jump on it. I want to see your record when we're done, man. Adora should not get nerfed, man. She's so beautiful. Oh my god. They need to make her some new skins, is all I gotta say. Alright. Snap back into reality, Chris. Oh my god. Faster firing. Even faster firing. Semi-automatic rifle. That's what we're going for here. Looking pretty good. Uh, one thing we... Oh, man. I just realized. We may have screwed up. We may have screwed up. We need lead popping power. Razor Road as it is. Hopefully, I got enough money for it. Because I, I can sell, but I don't really want to sell $1,500 worth of garbage. Um, I'm really, really hoping. Really, really hoping that we got enough money here, man. It's going to be close. Round 27, though, usually gives you a lot. Adora's not bad against mobs. The Alchemizer, she's delish. Yeah. Oh, well, Amanda knows. I mean, Amanda knows. I mean, if Adora ever became a real person, you know, popped up in real life, she'd know that I have to break up with her for her. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. You know, she's, she'll understand. She'll get it. She'll understand. It's not a big deal, you know? Just like uh, if Ryan Gosling ever came into Amanda's life and was like, you, I pick you up. I wouldn't feel bad. I would be like, it is what it is. I understand. I get it. Okay. You got to go for Ryan Gosling if he shows up for you. Pigeons, get off my wall. Get off my wall, pigeons. The best tier five. Oh, man. I don't know. Patch Prom, probably. Actually, I do not have a man crush, believe it or not. There's really nobody that I'm like, oh yeah, them. I really like them. Um, as an actor, or as a person, or as, as anything. I know there's a lot of people that have like a lot of man crushes out there. Like There's certain people that just love. I don't know. It's never really my thing, man. <laughs> Does Amanda know my standpoint? Uh, I think so. I think, we've, I think we've talked about this before. That like... There's like a couple people that have they magically showed up in your life and you know it just you go for it man you can't not go for it right all right how we doing how we doing we really want to get the fully auto rifle before round 40 that is our goal let's see if we can make it happen boing boing baby 
We get it going in here. We're feeling good. Let's get these drones up in here. And Shazamo, Kablamo, we take them down. Now this is easy. Easy peasy. Save up 15 grand. Don't even need to be here. We win. We win. We won. How's that make you guys feel? Taxone is delicious, man. Add a little bit of elk to him. Add a little bit of primary mentoring. And uh, he's golden. He's got lead popping power automatic. If you use him with Etienne, he's got automatic camp protection. Zero weaknesses. Realistically, you're probably better off the village anyways, because you got to get primary mentoring anyways. So why not primary mentoring? Get the little village combo. You're good. Uh, that is one weird thing about the game, huh? It's like, wow, Chris, you dominated so hard, you don't even need to build anything. You just won. You won, just like that. Pat can be pretty good with the tax zone. Oh, no, Jonathan. You, you're losing all the monkey money as well. It's tough, isn't it? Even with full concentration. Well, you're not even fully concentrating. You're probably watching the amazingness of the stream right now, right? So, you got a reason to be to be distracted. There's nothing, nothing to feel bad about. Pitches, man. They don't. They don't understand. This is my wall. All right, 15k, man. Like I said, once we get it, we're done. I'm leaving. I'll see you guys in like uh, 15 minutes. I'm gonna make some brownies. I'm not joking. I, I'm gonna make some brownies for you guys. I'm gonna make my. Own. I might. I might come up here with the brownie mix and eat some of the brownie mix for you guys. But you guys can just enjoy each other's company. A lot of people leave. That's okay. I don't mind. But I'm gonna. I. I got. I gotta make some brownies. I gotta. Oh, Marisa knows what's up, man. She knows about them brownies. Oh no, no M and M's. They're Costco brownies. They do have fudge, little fudge pieces in them. But uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be back in like five minutes. Hopefully, you guys are here when I get back. Hopefully, we just automatically win the game by the time I get back. Just help myself out a little bit. I'm also going to get the uh, IFR, just in case. Oh, I didn't need the IFR. I needed the other thing. Crap. That's okay. Heck yeah, man. We're going to be back with some brownies very soon, guys. Very soon. I'll be right back.
Tracking MOAB. How it stopped! Tracking BFB. Are we talking about who the most attractive champion your uh, hero is? What timing? Did we literally just finish? Perfect. Perfect. All right, Magic Monkey Zone. This is going to be a little difficult. Was it 80 rounds? 80 rounds. Okay. Whew. Not exactly simple. Not exactly super difficult. Good news is... I might be a little quieter for a second, guys. We got brownie batter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I mean, brownie's got to cook them, man. You got to cook them, guys. I mean, you guys eat the brownie batter, right? I always leave myself just a little bit extra. A little bit extra brownie batter. You know? Like, it's so delicious. I'd rather eat brownie batter over eating brownies. I don't know how you guys feel, but... Alright. We've got to do something a little weird. We've got to do... A fireball wizard to start. He's gonna be my lead popping power. Yeah. Mm. You know, I have read that it's extremely, extremely, extremely unlikely to get salmonella from eggs these days. It just doesn't happen. Because they wash the eggs and everything. They got everything down to a freaking science. You guys wanna know an uh, interesting fact?
in the United States, you must wash your eggs. In the UK, slash in most of Europe, you're not allowed to wash your eggs. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. But you're not allowed to wash your eggs. And it's kind of two different theories. The theory in the United States is you want to get all the gunk off of the eggs. Because if you wash them, then they're clean. But over there, the theory is you don't want to take, over, take off the protective layering that's on the egg. And then, therefore, it should be better for you. So, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, if you cook eggs, I mean, you're not going to get sick no matter what. But... Unless they're rotten or something. Yeah. They don't refrigerate them. It's very interesting. Oh my god. It's... God, it's such a chill stream today. Mm. Alright. Basic strategy. I think. Archmage. Grandmaster Ninja. What do you guys think? Mmm, see? I've never washed my eggs. Oh, you do refrigerate the eggs in the UK. Mmm, really? But did you... But do you... Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Archmage for show. You know, I actually have a friend named Marissa. Not Marisa. Marissa. This tastes a little soap. Probably didn't wash it 100%. Grandmaster is not super duper good. That's true. But... Oh, crap. Crap. Alright. The road spikes. Take care of it! Yeah. Yeah. No, there's not a green fork. Are you ready for this, guys? This is... If you are just getting into... Getting a kitchen... Or... I want to know a trick about having a kitchen or cooking, or anything. Get yourself a good set of silicone spatulas. All right, little little bit, they're pretty stiff, but they still got, they got some wobble, they got some wiggle to them. Great for scraping stuff, like brownie batter, out of the bowl. You can tell, I'm not leaving anything. Don't gotta waste nothing. Have to have, man. Look that rubber spatula. Stick it in your mouth. That's the way we do things around here. Um, dirty brown, gooey goodness. Thank you, brownies, for making me happy. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Without arcane spike. Can we survive the Moab? It's gonna be a little difficult. Actually, we might get the money for it. We're not that far away. Hmm. But yeah, definitely get yourself a really, really nice set of silicone spatulas. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't even. Actually, you know, these aren't bad at all. Cuisine art. I don't. I don't even know where I got them. They might, they might have been Amanda's, but I gotta say, I love them, man. I use them for everything. When I'm doing any sort of cooking whatsoever, man, I pop these puppies in there, and we're golden. Alright, round 40's coming up. Ooh, we're not gonna make it! So we're gonna have to pop in a... Let's just do a dragon's breath. Play it safe. Um, we can get our drones up in here, too. 
And with all that combined together, we do easily, easily. Oh. Yeah, it sucks, but no more blue chipper, guys. No more blood chipper. No more crud chipper. All right, I think we're just about done with the brownie mix, though. Brownies are in the oven, though. It is official. It wasn't fully uh, preheated, but I just had to screw it. Tossed them in there. Brownie batter. 100%. I should ask that as a question, though, Jonathan. What do people like better, brownie batter or cookie batter? Uh, cookie batter, nothing wrong with it. I think it's still... I still think brownie batter, better than brownies. Cookie batter, better than cookies. 100%. Like, I... There's no argument in my, my situation. Oh, I didn't even notice, man. I did notice, but then I forgot to notice. Hunter da crazy Did Etienne get a buff? As far as I understand, he did not get a buff. He is still somewhat weak. Cookie dough, yes. Cookie, 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 ba cookie batter, cookie dough, cookie whatever. Um... Now, I should not eat big, gigantic bundles of all of it, right? I mean, I, I think we all can agree with that. We shouldn't eat, like, ten cookies worth of cookie dough, but... Oh, no. <laughs> Jonathan, you're wrong, man. You're not eating the right brownies, okay? Cookies are good and all, but you can't beat that chocolate fudgy, gooey goodness that is brownies. You can't beat it. Okay, so the two best brownies in the world, all right, that I've tried. Uh, I don't really know the names, but the one I get from Costco, it's got fudge chunks in it, and it comes in a package of six packs together, all right? So you can get six packs together, and it's just straight brownies, and they're delicious. Amazing. Uh... You just mix, and for all my brownie things, I mean, I, I just, you know, make one of the box. You just mix oil, water, and egg, brownie mix. Boom, brownies. It's easy. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get this Arc Major 4 on C3. We have to, otherwise we're dead. We're doomed, man. There's no way we're going to do We're going to have to pop in, like, two Flash Bomb Ninjas and just hope for the freaking best. Maybe the Phoenix can pop them in there and just think that we might do it. Um... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so, I also get these other ones. I just get them from Meyer. Uh, I don't remember what their name is, but they're just regular old brownies, but they've got the frosting top. Okay, I know, I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm sorry, guys. We should all have a brownie party together. All right. Brownie party. Definitely what I'm gonna do. If I ever do have a meetup, man, Maybe pizza, but brownies. But uh, the other one I get is just a regular set of, of uh, a box of brownies, and then you do a... Uh, it's got like a fudge... I don't even know what to call it. Like a chocolate sauce on top. Regular fudge chocolate frosting sauce. Comes in a little package, you know, that kind of thing. You squeeze it on top and you smush it around. You gotta wait till they come out of the oven to do it. And it, Oh, it's great. I've never had porridge. I don't even know what porridge really is. Oh, Hunter! I didn't realize, man. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. He wants the elbows. Ugh, there it is. Two elbows. <clears throat> I gotta do some stretches, guys. I gotta get some, like, I gotta get, you know, I was making, making that thing happen. Uh, I will never be out of the introvert phase. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm stuck there forever. I will never be extroverted or non-introverted. I just... It's hard for me. I'm... I, it's hard. I think... I feel like maybe introverted is even the wrong word. I'm shy. It's the main thing. I don't... Meeting new people is very difficult for me. Um... One-on-one, -on -one, I'm much, much better than, like, several people, though. Uh... You know, like, I, I have, like, some anxiety and stuff, too. I don't know. It's just, it's tough for me, man. So, yeah, we've got the Arc Mage. Get that monkey sense. Even though I didn't need it. 
then we're gonna, I don't know, do we want to go uh, Sticky Bomb here? Let's go Sticky Bomb Master Bomber. Jeez, Master Bomber's the walls. I don't know. It's still from here either way. We get one of these and, uh, uh, please do not spam. Spam and get you banned. Oh, sorry, buddy. You're banned. Um... We'll pop one there, and then we're going to do another ninja middle path once we get him blowing up in here. Spamming, automatic ban. You cannot be unbanned after you spam ban. It sucks, but it is the way it is, man. If there's zero respect for me, I will respect you zero back. All right, that's how we're going with it. Malak. It's a fun word to say. Melod, M-E-L-O-D-I-C. I don't know, do you guys ever have words that you just say and you're like, oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. I really like that word. Brickle. Time! It is 7.19 p.m. United States, U.S. Central Time. Earth. I don't even know what our solar system is called. Soul, solar system, Milky Way, galaxy, in uh, local cluster of the universe, A. I'm not going to ask you guys. Do you guys think that the universe is infinite? It's a great question. I like to ask this to people sometimes. I think infinity is uh, one of the weirdest things in the entire universe to think about. Uh, the universe, as far as I understand, does not have a name because we think it just encompasses everything. The universe is everything. When you get to multiple universes, the question is, is it just part of a universe? Or is it really even multiple universes? You know, like, where do you draw the line between everything? Plethora. That's a pretty good one, too. But it's hard to work into a sentence, I feel like. You know, like, there's a plethora of balloons for us to kill today. It doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue when you try to say the next word after that. <coughs> He's not going to reach level 20, sadly. Uh, can I help you get better at balloons? Maybe. I don't know what I can do, but I'll, I'll do my best. Alright, let's get uh, this guy going. Get a quick phoenix. And we'll go intense magic while we're at it too. But the monkey sense is irrelevant. It's completely garbage. So we've got four abilities now, which is pretty wild. Oh, we're on a magic monkeys only strategy right now. It was a race live ring. We finished that about an hour ago, maybe. I would like to think. So here we go. I'm gonna use I'm gonna pop this puppy down. I like to think that universe, the, the that infinity is not possible in the universe. Um, zero is possible, and you can approach zero. But I like to believe that infinity is not a thing that actually exists in the universe. It's a concept rather than a real experience. You know. Uh, maybe you guys can prove me wrong. I, I don't know, but, uh, uh, and I'm not talking about, like, infinity in terms of, um, something like, uh, you know, people will say, well, there's infinite digits after, you know, that, that makes up pi. Like, yes, okay, that, I understand, is infinite, but that's still a concept. Like, pi is a concept of a number that we created to say that it is infinite. But, like, in the universe, in real life, like, where would infinite be? Could you have infinite anything? And I would say that you can't have infinite. And I would say that all the way up until including the universe, that infinite should not exist. And if it does, that understanding that concept would be unbelievably difficult to understand. Uh, it's ridiculously if, if, impossible, possibly, to understand. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can think about things using infinity, but that it doesn't actually exist. Uh, that's the way I like to think about it, at least. 
Yeah, exactly true. What, what would the edge of the universe be? I mean, that's where uh, people come on to that space must be curved somehow. And that it must curve back onto itself. I don't fully understand what people are saying. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not saying that I'm genius and understand everything. And I know all the answers. I don't. I think that's what's kind of cool about it. An asymptote. Yeah, it approaches, it approaches a certain number or approaches zero. But it never fully reaches it. That's possible too. But again, it's more of a concept that we're approaching it. But we never reach it. Realistically, there's always like an ending. You know? There's always an ending. The asymptote doesn't truly exist. Eventually, it would either go down to zero or it would just say, oh, this is the farthest that it can actually get down before it reaches zero or whatever. Yeah. 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 But again, you can't have infinite time. Uh, I don't think. I think even infinite time. You know, obviously, there's a finite time that the universe has existed for. Like, it's impossible to think of infin infinity. I guess that is one of the biggest reasons why life is so confusing, because infinity, Here we go. as far as when did the universe start, oh my god, this this has been bamboozling my brain for freaking forever, man. When people say, when did the universe start, people usually say, you know, 13.6, 13.7 billion years ago, a long time ago, nothing insane, nothing insane, I mean billions of years, but like... That's not infinity. That's not trillions of years. That's not, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of years or, or, or like hundreds of billions upon trillions of Google Plexes amount of years. It's not asymptotally approaching infinity or something like that. It's like it's only 13.6 billion years old. That's not very old at all. If you really think about the universe, you think about the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Maybe the sun, maybe 5 billion. Like, sure, billion's a big number. But it's not that large. It really isn't that large. So we go. We definitely have to do like a double crossbow master play or something here. I'm going to try to do like a, a crossbow master here. I think if we do him here, he's going to shoot down a super long, long straight line there. Still be able to reach over there if I want him to, you know? So that's what we're going for. <sighs> you know, I think... I, I would like to think that the universe is not, not a, uh, a simulation. I think... would be unbelievably interesting but then all you're creating it, it doesn't solve the problem okay i think that's one of the issues well let's say we're in a simulation go to the real world then that's not a simulation then was the answer where did that place come from did that place have a beginning or an end so you're not solving the problem by saying that the universe is infinite just like a lot of people like to say this and i i don't want to get all religious on you guys but um, some people will say, well, who created the universe? Well, if God doesn't exist, who created the universe? Well, who created God? Like, infinity. Okay, it's the exact same answer. You're just adding another step, basically. Does it really solve anything? Not, not, no, it doesn't. In my opinion, it doesn't. Sure, it could make more sense to you. That's fine. Uh, but to me, it doesn't solve the problem. You know? It's the exact same answer. So adding an extra step doesn't necessarily solve the problem. It just may make you think that it solves the problem. Oh man, oh man, get me started on infinity in the universe? What the heck are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um, this actually is not a bad spot for a boom boom, man. I'm gonna get a 2 3 boomerang here. Or a, yeah, 2 3. Though, if I get a longer range, you might be able to reach the top over there, too. Let's try it. Let's do a long range. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. A 0, zero 3 2. Very, it, it, Jonathan, almost exactly, uh, but not quite. I said that if there are, as some people state, infinite universes, either they can interact with each other, okay? And if they can interact with each other, they could know about the other universes, okay? And then, if there are infinite, obviously infinite possibilities happen, in one of those universes, they find out how to destroy not only their own universe, but all the universes, which means we'd all be destroyed already. Because there's inf infinity. Impossible. Now, if there are infinite universes, but we cannot interact with any of the other universes, then they are completely irrelevant. In my opinion. 
because uh, we could never interact with them, ever. So, uh, a uh, infinite universe in which we can interact with them is impossible. A limited number of universes in which we can interact with each other is possible, though. So that, there could be multiverses. I'm not saying that it isn't a multiverse. But an infinite amount of universes, I don't think is possible. But, you know, it's where do you draw the line on infinity? Well, if infinity already exists in the universe, well, shouldn't we just jump it up to infinite uh, universes? Infinite multiverses? Infinite bubbles of universes? Where's the where's the, the thing? And that's why I like to think that the universe is a singularity. It's just one. A singular event. Only one universe. Does that mean it's true? No. But... Maybe there's other dimensions that we don't understand within the universe, but I think that there's only really one. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's the way I look at it. A parallel universe? I mean, what do we mean by parallel universe? Is it a universe in which, you know, everybody, all humans exist, but they have slight differences or something like that? Or what? So we do get the lead popping power with this guy, but it's not stupendous. Um, I'm a little worried about the Moab, to be honest. I, I don't know what we're to do about it. Uh, hmm. 80 rounds, though. Well, uh, you know, the second law of ther thermodynamics basically states that over time, everything becomes more chaotic. Less organized. Systems and we've never seen anything that doesn't follow that law. Right. But what if you're not looking at the right time scale? Yeah. What if there's only one thing that becomes less chaotic over time. We just haven't seen it happen. What if the universe at some point Oh crap dude, we're getting, this is getting tight right here. Alright, we're gonna go for another boom boom. Uh, I want to reach over to the other side though if possible, so we're gonna put him right here. Um, one of these guys, that's my two boomerangs for now. I think I gotta go for a cannon here as well. You know, something like that. No, I'm not even saying that I, I, I uh, believe that. I'm just saying, what if? Thought experiment. The one thought experiment that really interests me, uh, and maybe it doesn't interest other people, is let's say you had a, a, a quote-unquote teleport machine. All right, And what this teleport machine does is it visualizes every single atom in your entire body in the exact location that it is, and it uses a different set of atoms to re-put uh, you back together, basically. Puts the atoms in the exact same location. Exact same. 100% exact same. Different atoms, exact same location. What? Uh, well, let's say... Ooh, <laughs> Man, we're struggling against our first mob. This is going to be tough. You know this is going to be tough. Can I save up and get a crossbow master here? I would love to. I would love to, but I'm not sure if I can. 204 tax. Do you think I need a Maltrom? Oh, I need an overdrive. 204. Overdrive tax shooter? Where at, though? I used up my good spots here, man. Alright. This map is difficult. I may, I may lose. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I may lose. Uh, I'm gonna try to save up for my crossbow master. That is gonna be my goal. Uh, I think if I get him, I'll be good. But, I don't know if I'm gonna get there. Uh, generally speaking, time should be roughly on the same page on every planet. Now we could sell. 
Don't forget about that. Oh, crap, dude. We're, like, just about losing here every single second. This cannon, I mean, he's... Okay, we screwed up. Um, this is a tough map. I don't know what I want to do. What do I want to do different? Um, this could be a... Well, this isn't even on the ground, though. That's ridiculous. Can you fit anything on the ground there? You can. Though I guess it doesn't matter. I could put a tack zone right here, too. Etienne. He is my camo detection. Yeah, let's get this guy going. I might do two of these. I might do one here and one here. Maybe one there. I think this is the spot, though. I'm going to do a double dose of them, guys. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's do an Etienne start, though, still. I think. Yeah, let's do Etienne start. We don't want to put him in the best location, though. Ready um, to fly. And we're going to do our dart monkey right here. And just hope that we get enough. Now, uh, the one thing about Interstellar, may maybe I'm wrong about this, but... They were, they were like, well, it's so close to a black hole that uh, time is, you know, sped up on the planet. Or whatever. Um, the gravity of the planet's obviously not affecting it. So it's like it's like the gravity of the black hole is affecting the planet. But you'd have to be so close, so close to that black hole that you must be, like, revolving around the black hole at, like, the freaking speed of light to make that happen, man. Basically making it so you're really just affected by the speed of light, not even the gravity, almost. It's like, doesn't make much sense. Um, at least, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but, like, you have to be so close. Because it's all, it's all squared. Um, it's relatively squared. I don't know how to put it in a not stupid way. It's based on the, uh, square effect. So the further you are away, it's, it's, it, you know, like, you know, you go from two... To four to nine to whatever 16 25 36 49 it gets extra extraordinarily large quite quickly daily dose of double tax yeah I'm I'm gonna go you know what let's do it man I'm ready for this let's pop this guy in there Still need lead popping power, though. That's one of my biggest weaknesses from last game, is the lack of lead popping power. Uh, yeah. So we got this. We're going to go for that faster shooting now. Let's just get it going now. I'm just going to get it all the way. I'll just know for sure this guy's basically covered, and then the other side can go somewhere else. Sure. Black holes warp space-time, but you'd have to be so close to that black hole. Uh, uh, put it this way. Let's say a black hole with the mass of the sun. Um, uh, 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 appeared where the sun is. Sun's gone. Black hole is there. We would obviously not notice for eight minutes. That would notice, oh, the sun went out. But time would not be any different. Because it's the exact same mass. It's not just because it's a black hole. It's magically changing things. It's all about the mass of the black hole that changes the way things are working. So if, for example, the uh, 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 a black hole, the mass of you know 25 suns appears in the middle of our uh, solar system, probably wouldn't affect the time almost at all either. You know, it's like 25 times like nothing because we're so far away. You know, still experience time roughly the same. I'd like to know the number if you guys want to. If somebody wants to figure out the real number, you know, you could probably plug it into uh, something online somewhere. I bet you there's a little code or something like that. Um, there you go. I'm going to get this first. We're going to go boom, 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 tech sprayer, faster shooting. Now we got a lot of pops. 25 billion times. Now you're getting interesting, man. But now you're talking about, I don't even know what the mass of the uh, center of. I gotta hey, put this guy on. Eyes on that He's just exit. Not shooting the right frick things. Alright. 
we are gonna have to get a red hot rings. But I think, yeah, I think I gotta go middle path, man. I don't know. I wanted to go top path, but I still think it's gonna work. I think every galaxy does have a black hole. I don't think it's almost. I think, it, I think all, all of them do. It's gotta withhold the galaxies together. All right, here we go. We should be good on, on lead balloons here. I'm glad I didn't screw that up. Uh, you can tell, though, we are doing quite fantastic with these guys. I think we can get both of them up to overdrives. It's going to be a lot of balloons popped right there, friends. Objective. Oh, all right. Divide and conquer, I guess. Yeah, max tugboat. Plug that in, though. Plug it in somewhere. Make make some things happen. The product of the two masses and what though? Like kilograms or, or or what are we talking here? One one Earth mass, one solar mass. I don't know. Um, camera detection wise, we suck. Why do these? Th Objective. Look at them. They are so freaking bad. They need to, at the, at the very least, the drones need to be smarter. Like, plan ahead or something. I don't know. Be faster. They're faster. Just wherever they needed to be. That'd be amazing. All right, here we go. We're going to get this overdrive tech shooter. That's going to be real good for us. I think the Moab comes out this side. So, that's the boss. A lot. We've got all automatic cam detection now. That's looking good. Uh, next thing that I think we need to get, though, is I think we're going to go for that crossbow master, most likely. Um... This might be a better spot for him, actually. It's going to be a little closer. So let's get this guy. Crossbow. Quick shots. This is not extreme mode. But they made it sort of similar to, to, to extreme mode. They did a lot of primary, military, and magic monkeys only. So you kind of have to split them up between the different games. Alright. Sharpshooter. We are losing lives slowly. Not good, man. Talk about random odd series. Of course, I remember random odd series. Of course, I remember. Yeah, that's one. That's one weird thing about space is like you, everybody has their own ideas, and uh, they could easily be wrong. Like easily, easily be wrong. I want to go for a second sharpshooter. <coughs> Might be the answer here. All right, didn't pop my ability up in time. No big deal, no big deal. Let's continue it. As far as I understand, uh, what would happen is uh, you'd actually get a, a supernova from a black hole exploding. Because all the matter is not held down by gravity anymore. So you just boop, and you explode. A.K.A. Big Bang. Kind of. Not really, though. Because you'd have to lose so much matter anyways that you wouldn't have enough matter for Big Bang. It's, like, it's an interesting thought, though. So we got, we got a second overdrive here. Looking good, looking good. Uh, I think we got to try and save up for that Crossbow Master, though. Um, again, around 43 to 55 is usually not that hard. 55 is probably the most difficult of them all. And... Uh, if we get a UCAV up, uh, yeah, by the time he's level 10, we'll have a UCAV. That should save us on a couple of hard rounds, hopefully. So I actually think that the crossbow will be able to hit both lanes. Oh, no, it can't. I didn't realize it was higher up this entire time. I thought he could hit both freaking sides. All right. Yes. Whoa. 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 I don't know how I didn't notice that. All right, let's um, let's buy him up. Got to buy him up, anyways. Exactly. That's the kind of the biggest mystery. Yeah. 
is where did it come from in the first place? I think it's the biggest mystery for everybody. Did something create it? And if something created it, where did that thing come from? Or, did it always exist? Was, uh, would it even say, would it even be crazy to say, well, always exists isn't really even a way to define it, because we don't have the ability to comprehend uh, the fact that time doesn't actually necessarily have to exist. Time was created, which is the crazy part. For the universe, it's just kind of weird. But like, let's say, let's say there was just a big bang, just the, the, the size of. Uh, oops, almost lost again. Wow, wow, wow. We might not be able to survive, man. We might not be able to survive here. Um. End of round fifty. What are we gonna do to pop these freaking moabs, man? I mean, very quick shots. That could help us out a little bit. We got the UCAP here for 50. But when we're getting money, man. It's just not very quick. These mobs are going to be a gigantic, gigantic pain for us. For all of us. I could turbocharge through them. I could try to use an ice tower and, like, freeze some of the balloons. But there's really no good answer. <coughs> no good answer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh! All right, this is tough. I told you guys this was going to be a difficult one, though. So what we have to do is, sadly, because obviously the balloons are what's killing us right now, we've got to go for an extra cannon down here. We're going to try for a cluster bomb with heavy bombs and see if we still can save up for that crossbow master in time. Because, <coughs> uh, like I said, the uh, Moabs are really what's killing us. So we got to hope that that gives us that little boost, maybe boost, that we need. We got UCAV back. With this cannon, though, it seems to be that little tiny bit of help that we needed. <clears throat> 55 is going to be a tough one. Though. 54 is a tough one, too. We're going to go early UCAV. Uh, I'm going to try and get it back for around 55 when we need it. That's the plan. Yeah. Holy crap. UCAV is still alive on round 55. That was not a good plan. Not a good plan. I might have to get a recursive cluster here. I don't know. It might. I might lose. Yeah, as expected. I might freaking lose. I've got to get the recursive cluster now. It's like it's just like oh my god. I'm just gonna be slowly drained over time. Man. Slowly, slowly drained. Never reaching the crossbow master. Always needing to spend that two thousand dollars. Saving twenty thousand. Oh my god. We still lost with the cannon. Whoa. 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 I guess that raises up the question, should we go with a different strategy? Maybe we could try like a low level ice tower, split up the ceramics or something like that. Yeah, just try one of these with a quick uh, permafrosting larger radius. Split them up just a tiny bit. Same thing on this side. Put them a little bit over here, like this. Permafrost larger radius. Spend about 1500 bucks cheaper than buying a cluster, uh, crystal cluster. Let's see if this odd strategy is gonna be enough for us, guys. And it looks like it should be as long as we can pop that Moab. Yes, all right. No problemo. No problemo. We're good. We're getting there, man. $6,000 left. Now, I could also go tax zone. Worst case scenario, get tax zone. I don't want to, but it, it is a scenario. Oh, we had the UCAV, too. Holy crap, guys. This is really tight. I don't want to lose right now. I really don't want to lose right now. All right, we're going to have to UCAV this. We're just going to pop them. It doesn't have black pop power. Ridiculous.
Ridiculous. We couldn't do it, man. We couldn't do it. I should have sold something for the Crossbow Master, I think. You're right. I probably should have. I can't believe the UCAV couldn't take down the stupid Flash Beam, though, dude. We popped him down. He just appears on the left side of the screen when we needed him to appear on the right side of the screen. Alright, good news is we got Crossbow Master. That's the good news. Now we can do whatever we want. I might just go double Crossbow Master, dude. Might be the answer for us. Let's go tax zone. This is not a bad spot at, at all. But look at that crossbow master, dude. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now all we gotta do is get 63 taken care of, and I don't think we could possibly. Tracking I should not say that though. Tracking MOAB. I don't look at chat when people are being stupid. That's what I don't do. But yeah, uh, you better watch yourself, man. That's not something you should talk about. Jonathan, what you get? What you get on the race? Jonathan, you almost got me killed, man. I got us down to 11 lives. Top 50, really? Eyes on that exit. Oh, top 50%. Oh, it's like, holy crap, dude. Holy crap. You're insane, man. You're insane. Ooh, we got a big problem here. Uh, for Crystal Cluster. Go. We only have to beat 63. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. We're just gonna get another cannon. Um, what about there? Automatic camera trick just realistically just need some balloon popping power. We're gonna chop this puppy down too. We're gonna get some blue action up in here. And uh, we should be golden. Spend money, man. I don't need another crossbow master. Just get the cheapo crap. This is all my towers, though. Everything, everything's out. Everything is in. <laughs> oh my god. This is some scary crap, boys. This is some scary crap. Some fortified footballs. Not good to come up against those guys. MOAB. Alright, um, I still want to get my glue going. If you guys haven't been able to see, by the way, 44,000 pops. I should probably sell these ice towers at this point. Put them in the back back here or something. Probably do double dose. You know, one up here, one down there. Something like that. Oh, yeah, I should put the puffer fish back in. You're right, man. Puffer fish are pretty fucking sweet. Okay. Do a splatter. Let's corrosify this glue. Ten more rounds to go. No hands. Look, Ma. Do it with no hands. No hands. Can we do it? Oh, baby. Will we ever need to use our hands ever again? I guess that's the real question. Yes, we will. I'm, I'm getting afraid, man. A co-op race. That would be insane. You know you'd have the tryhards. Getting both the tryhards to join the race at the same time, you know, you know how it is. I guess I just assumed it was random. I guess you could do co-ops with uh, chosen teams. That would be fine. All right. I mean, I'm kind of stuck with where I'm at right now. I can, I can go turbocharge. That's an extra ability that I can just pop in whenever I need it. 
Overall, though, pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Let's get the glue hose. I don't want to dissolve her. I love the popper fish. We ain't going to football. I like them. I just, I got to try them out a little bit. You know, I actually had pizza yesterday, so I'm good. I'm good on pizza right now. I guess I try hard, too. I try hard in places, and I suck. So, I can't make fun of people. Um, one thing that people do is they, they do really well is they build off each other's uh, strategies. That's one thing that I gotta say that they do a good job at, you know? I'm just, like, popping my own my own little ideas in there. Who knows if they're good or not? Sometimes we might come up with very similar ideas, but not necessarily. Um, here we go, level 16. <coughs> Let's get this glue strike going here. Pop down the new cab. Looking good, looking good. Man, I'm still getting that vinegar coming up here. Is there really someone goes with top hats? How have I not seen this? All right, we're throwing it down. Everything we got here, glueify. Use. And we survive round 77. We've got nothing left right now. Nothing left. Pop that U cab out. And whoop, whoop. Take it down. Oh, dude, I'm totally going to get the top hats, man. If they exist. I'm not sure if you're messing with me. Uh, round 80 is going to be difficult for us as well. I don't really have anything in particular that I can use against it. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, that's okay, man. No worries. You don't need to donate. Just have some fun. Donations are never, ever required. Always appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. All right, we're chugging, we're chugging along. We're trying to save up around 80. Money's everything all at once. In fact, it might be better if I get rid of this cannon. No, this this can. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna try and kill the zombie a little faster if I go in like this. Quick assassin. Okay, crossbow master, get to work, man. Get to work. Get to work. No, my HVAC system is not broken, but I talked to my friends. My friend does, uh, uh, he's an HVAC engineer. He doesn't install them and stuff. And I tried talking to him about it, and he seems to think that if I do a couple things to the, uh, the system, he told me professionally, get it replaced. But as a friend to friend, um, you could probably make it last a couple more years at best but he said it's tricky because you never know if it's gonna go out and i'm like yeah so it's it's one of those things that's like probably should get done but i have not gotten done yet i'm trying i'm trying to save up money basically you know once i get the money for it i like i want to get it done because my dad had i think i told you guys my dad had it happen where um uh uh he has, they have a pretty nice house, and they've got two air conditioning units, one for the upstairs and one for uh, the downstairs. And uh, he had the AC unit go down on the downstairs, and it was kind of an emergency, so he's like, all right, I'm just going to get it freaking done. Then he had the furnace go out in the uh, winter time, so you need to freaking get that. So he's like, he got ripped off again, and then right after that, the AC in the upstairs went out, and he was like, all right, well, there it is. Just wasted all of his money getting, like, all three uh, separated when he could have gotten a huge discount by getting them basically all at once. So here we go. Oh, my God. Can we take you down, my friend? Can we take you down? We're hoping for it. Why do I have so much money? Uh... Don't know why I have so much money. Where did I get it all?
I would say my parents are wealthy, but like they're decently well off. I mean, I don't, I didn't feel too bad about them. You know, I mean, my dad's been retired for like 10 years, so he's doing okay for himself, I guess. Um, he's one of those people though. He's, uh, I'm not saying that he should give me money or anything like that, but he's, he's very, uh, stingy. It's probably the best word to put. Cheap is also another way to put it. Very cheap and stingy when it comes to money. Look at that. It takes two hours. We have 43 lives left. Pop account. Cash generated. Moab's popped. Abilities used. Beautiful. A balancing act is what we are. That's what we are, guys. Balancing act. 200 delicious monkey money. Fifty freaking trophies. All right. I'm a little bit cheap. I mean, I definitely got a little bit of my cheapness from him. Um, I like to try and save money whenever possible. You know, like if you can not spend money instead of spending money, like do it, dude. Why not? Why not? Uh, top hats. All right, let's go check it out. Let's see. Trophy store info. Bloop. All right. Balloons. No, oh, you were not joking. Top hats. All right, let's get some top hats on here. Um, we're going to put the pufferfish back on. Screw the Moab. Pufferfish. And then, what else do we want to give him? Oh, we can't put googly eyes on him. A Mauler Moab. Should I buy it? I got three of the trophies, man. Let's buy it. Look at all. Oh, my God. Look at this. Sci-Fi BFB. Steampunks, oh my god. Alright, we gotta go for it. Steampunks, oh my god. There it is. Steampunk with the top hats. Alright, I got you. Sci-fi BFB, that's pretty cool too. And... Oh, that's just gotta be annoying. I don't think I can do that right now. Even though that would finish off this entire thing for me. Alright, we're gonna go Steampunk with the top hats. We'll get rid of the watermelon. Yeah, no more watermelon. Can you activate both at the same time? No, it does disappear. Okay. That'd be kind of cool, actually, if you could do it b both, and then, like, every other oh my god, or whatever would have that. That's pretty cool, though. I like it. Grasshopper. This is the sound of the 14th cash request that gets ignored. <laughs> oh, my god. That's hilarious. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I need to buy. Oh, my god. Gotta buy all these songs, too. Holy crap. Holy crap, there's so much crap to buy! I got these three. Ghost Wolf. Ooh, that's pretty cool, man. Hunter trophies, though. Can't spend it right now. Can't spend it right now. Anyways, guys, uh, that's what I'm going to have for you guys today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this ridiculously long stream. It has been almost three hours! I know I took a, a big brownie break in the middle of all that, but ridiculous, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the donations. I will see you guys next time, alright? Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, I'll be back here on Sunday for you guys. I will not be here tomorrow for sure. I'm going to a party, actually. It's supposed to storm, though, so it's going to be a sad story. It's going to be a sad party. But I'm glad we're doing this over the other thing we're planning on doing. So, any which way, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you next time. Good night, everybody.